Hello, denizens of the internet. <laughs> I see you out there. Yeah, this is going to sound like a rant, but it's not. I fully understand that things change and much of what I'm going to talk about will never come back and I'm not asking it to. I'm referring, of course, to Hollywood's lost ability to entertain, especially by exploiting unique skills of its actors, whether it's dancing, singing, swordplay, acrobatics, horseback riding, holding your breath underwater, or driving off a cliff off a motorcycle. Oh, okay, that last one is still being done. And yes, I'm talking about that all singing, all dancing era of Hollywood. It's not like no one is trying. Baz Luhrmann is always attempting to bring back the musical. Though I have to admit, while Moulin Rouge was certainly memorable in that pyrotechnic way, it was just not the same as a Gene Kelly outing. I didn't go to see Moulin Rouge to hear Nicole Kidman sing or watch her dance. In fact, that's not something I want to experience again. But I would rewatch Sid Charisse in Bandwagon, Singing in the Rain, Silk Stocking, or Meet Me in Las Vegas. Now, all those movies were before my time, but it was because of my mother, who was an usherette at a movie house in Budapest, who absolutely adored Hollywood movies, who cultivated my appreciation for such classics. The cheesy stuff from Esther Williams we had no interest in. Still, it showed off her unique ability uh, uh, to hold her breath. What unique abilities do actors have now to show off? Looks, method acting, being able to do a scene while I, I, I eating? Hell, Fred Astaire didn't have the looks, but was a huge star who commanded the screen with his terpsichore and his toupee. I'm pretty sure all the actors of the era had to learn to sing dance, especially tap. And you'd find actors who you would never associate with dancing suddenly kick up their heels. On-screen tough guy James Cagney showed his dancing skills in Yankee Doodle Dandy. More recent tough guy, when Christopher Walken showed up in Pennies from Heaven dancing to Let's Misbehave, well, that was a pleasant shock. Who knew the man could dance, even though he was a trained dancer? The fun thing is it was unexpected for me because it's, it's not as common in our modern, more serious era. The unexpected skill is something we used as part of our Frantics live comedy show. We didn't just do sketches. As the show progressed, we played guitars, sang. Peter could play piano. I played saxophone. We had a musical number with just kazoos, a mimed magic show. You could tell the audience reacted with surprise to see we could do more than verbal comedy. We purposely developed our shows around a variety concept to ratchet up the show as the evening progressed. Now, uh, not m many movies these days are created to show off special skills. Well, I mean, except for Magic Mike. Hugh Jackman has done lots of singing and dancing on film, but while we go to see movies starring Jackman, it, it's not for his singing and dancing. And if we're blessed with such added dancing efforts, it's usually edited to death. In the old days, the camera followed the talent, rarely cutting. Now we get fast cutting and performers who are rarely talented. As I said at the beginning, I'm not asking for more musicals. No one needed Mamma Mia 2. I just miss the complete entertaining experience of all that jazz, Greece, on the town. I don't miss Xanadu, Can't Stop the Music, Stayin' Alive or Roller Boogie. I wouldn't even classify The Little Mermaid as a musical. Wouldn't it be neat if Tom Cruise turned out to be a great clarinet player and started laying down some mean klezmer? What if Denzel Washington could play xylophone? If you saw Scarlett Johansson execute David Blaine level magic tricks, wouldn't that be a pleasant surprise? 
wouldn't seeing your favorite actors show unexpected skills endear them more? Perhaps that's why we like martial arts movies featuring the actual stars in action. Are martial arts movies the closest thing we have to Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire across our screens these days? I think so. We went to see Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Donnie Yen, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and of course Jackie Chan because the action was great and you knew they always tried to do something new with each outing. It also didn't have any of that CG bullshit. So this is very much like what Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly did at each outing. Something new. Aren't the John Wick movies choreographed dance sequences but with more blood? There is something unexpected about seeing an actor uh, putting in the work to do something more than just mumbling through lines. I can't recall a, a single recent movie with plate spinning. Clearly, it's not a skill that is taught anymore, and we are the poorer for it. Till next time, denizens, be seeing you.